Hey guys, Johnny here from johnnyspencer.com and today I'm going to show you through the histogram in the develop module in Lightroom 5. Alright guys, but before we get into that, I just wanted to have a quick chat to you about my Lightroom course, Lightroom Essentials for Landscape Photographers. If you go to johnnyspencer.com slash L-R-E, that's J-O-H-N-Y-S-P-E-N-C-E-R dot com slash L-R-E, you can get to the sales page there and all the information you need about the course. Um, basically, just like it says, you know, you want to become a Lightroom expert. Um, yeah, this course, this online video course will help you become a Lightroom expert overnight. All right, let's get started with the tip, guys. Let's get straight into it. You can see uh, this is an image here from Cannibal Bay in New Zealand. Absolutely amazing sunset it was that morning. But uh, the area we want to talk about is this top right-hand side up here. So the two things I want to talk to you about first are these little triangles. Actually, what I might do, I'll explain the histogram to you for people who don't know. Um, just a quick overview. So the histogram is basically showing you all the luminosity in the image. So what we're looking at here is everything on this left-hand side are all the, all the darks, all the blacks. Everything in the middle is all the... Uh, the mid-tones and everything up this end are all the highlights. So these yellows and things, you'll see this bright area over here in the left-hand side of the image, that's this part of the histogram. This dark area here around the headland, that's this part here. And all these sort of middle tones are all through the center then. So that's the first thing about the histogram to know is what we're looking at exactly there. So next thing I want to talk to you about are these little triangles, guys. So if I click the one on the left here and I move this black slider up, I'm going to exaggerate it a bit. And now you can see everything blue on the screen is totally black in the image. So all this blue tone you can see here on the screen, now that's showing me that all those areas are black in the image. So that's a, it's a really nice way, guys. If you want to set your black and white point really fast um, here, you can click the first one, and you know that's probably a good black point somewhere around them. You do, blacks in your image are really important, guys. So don't be afraid to have a few blacks in, uh, you know, true, you know, pure black in your image is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm going to undo that there, guys, and just pull that back a little bit. So I'll undo that one, and let me click on the other side. So, of course, this is going to do the opposite. So this side here is going to show where things in your image are blown out to pure white. So let me turn the exposure up here, and you can see this red area now. That's parts in my image that are pure white. So it's, it's a really, these two little things here are just great for working out where the blown out highlights are and where the blacks are in your image. So they help you a lot when you're trying to balance your histogram doing your first pass in your edits, you know, trying to balance the exposure of your image. So, you know, if this was my image and I seen all this red here when I first opened it up, the first thing I do is, you know, I'm going to turn them highlights down there and bring those back, you know, and I might think, oh, the exposure overall is a bit too much, you know. I'll bring, bring that down a bit, but um, and you can see as I bring that down, you know, that red is not showing anymore because I've pulled back the detail in those highlight areas. All right, guys, that's, that's two things, <laughs> the, the quick overview of the histogram. Um, this is part one of this lesson. Uh, I wanted to break it up into two parts, guys, because there is another bit to the histogram I want to talk to you about, and it's a, it's a really simple technique for balancing your histogram and a really short cut in Lightroom 5. So that's it guys, that's a quick overview of the first part of uh, mastering the histogram in Lightroom. And just remember those two little triangles there. The one on the left is gonna show you all the total, the blue areas are now, all the bits of my image that are totally black. And the one on the right is gonna show me where everything in my image is totally white. So they're really good way to help you set your, your black and white point, but also to see where those blown out areas or those true, the pure black areas of your images are. So. That's it. That's it for this uh, lesson, guys. That is uh, Mastering the Histogram Part 1. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.